हेलो क्लास इलेवेंथ स्टूडेंट टुडे अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर सेवन टॉपिक इज प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन दिस इज द पार्ट टू इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट आई हैड टोल्ड कि आई विल कंप्लीट द होल चैप्टर इन द वन वीडियो बट नॉट एबल टू फिनिश इट सो दिस इज पार्ट टू फॉर यू एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर दिस चैप्टर ओके सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सो वॉट या हाउ मच वी हैड कवर्ड सो टिल नाउ वी हैड कवर्ड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन सो वॉट इज प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन क्यू इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एल के यानी वेरिएबल फैक्टर एंड फिक्सड फैक्टर ओके एंड दिस एल एंड के रिप्रजेंट वॉट इनपुट दिस रिप्रजेंट इनपुट एंड क्यू इन रिप्रजेंट आउटपुट ओके स्टूडेंट and f for functional functional relation okay now so production function explain functional relationship between input and output so this is the meaning of production function now next we had learn about the short run production and long run short run शॉर्ट रन प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन इज वॉट वेन वी राइट क्यू इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एल एंड के एंड दिस के इज कॉन्स्टेंट यानी कि ओनली वी कैन मेक द चेंज इन वेरिएबल फैक्टर वी कैन मेक द चेंज इन वेरिएबल फैक्टर फॉर मेकिंग द चेंज इन आउटपुट ओके बिकॉज टाइम इज नॉट सफिशियंट टू मेक द चेंज इन फिक्सड फैक्टर ओके now uh, it is known as a return to a factor why because we are making the change in only one factor now long run so q is the function of l k now in this condition all factors are variable so this is why it is known as a return to scale now then we had learn about the total product total product means the total quantity that we produce with the help of the variable factor now marginal product it is the additional product that we we produce with the help of one more variable factor with the help of one more variable factor okay now average product average product is the per unit production of variable factor now in today video we are going to discuss about what is return to a factor and uh, relation to tp mp already we had covered so this we remaining so these things we are going to cover okay these two topic so first of all fixed and variable factor for the quick revision so fixed factor are those factor which does not change with the level of output okay so its example are machinery equipment etc variable factors are those which vary with the level of output like labor raw material etc okay now here is given relationship between relationship between uh tp mp ap okay so here you can see ki when when mp increases from 1 to third unit tp also increases and ap ap also increases okay yani ki 1 to third all the three increases okay now when mp started to decrease from the fourth unit to till sixth unit tp increases but at a diminishing rate and this time ap at the fourth unit you can see mp is equal to mp is equal to ap and ap is at maximum point after this yani 4 to 6 here ap started to decrease and now uh tp is constant and at this point it is maximum when mp become negative tp started to decrease and it is still decreasing so here what is given when mp is greater than ap ap increases already i had told you in previous when mp is equal to ap at that time mp is at maximum and constant here you can see it is 3 okay and maximum now when mp is less than ap ap started to decrease from 5th to 7th unit 
now mp may be zero negative but ap continue to be the positive okay mp can be zero it also can be negative but ap can never be uh, negative or zero ap increases even mp falls ha huh. here you can see ki it is falling it is 3 now 1 but it is 4 and 3 and it is 3 3 okay and 3 to 4 so ap increases even mp falls okay now ap increases even mp falls but mp should be lie above ap okay so it is it can be clear with the help of only diagram so here you can see here you can see ki at the point of inflection tp increases at a tp increases at a increasing rate after that till the mac becoming maximum it increases at a diminishing rate and after that tp started to fall okay and when we talk about mp or ap so till this point when mp is greater than mp is greater than ap so ap is increasing here you can see okay and when mp or ap become equal so uh, that time ap is constant and maximum after that ap become greater than mp but ap started to decrease so that things are written here now in very very simple language if i explain it so how you are going to draw it okay now you are going to draw two lines okay like that so initially mp increases then it decreases and become negative so this is first stage this is second stage and this is your third stage here mp is what mp is zero here mp is what negative and here mp is falling and here mp mp is increasing now here tp increases at a increasing rate this is point of inflection okay after this point tp started to increase as a diminishing rate here it is constant and maximum and after that it falls okay so this is first stage this is second and it is third now come to the last point of this chapter what do you mean by return to a factor or law of variable proportion so it refers to a behavior of output only when variable factor of production increases in short run and fixed factor remain constant okay now law of variable proportion the law state that when more and more units of variable factors are employed to increase the output initially output increases at a increasing rate and finally falls so this is law of variable proportion okay so i'm going to explain it to you in my own way then with the help of the book okay what is law of variable proportion are written to scale so law of variable proportion or return return to a factor okay so here you have to keep these three things first when mp increases this time tp increases at increasing rate so this is your first stage now second stage when mp decreases okay stay second when it will start when mp started to decrease that time tp increases at decreasing rate B when this over so this over when mp is zero and that time T, tp becomes tp becomes maximum okay student now stage third 
सो स्टेज थर्ड वेन एम पी बिकम्स निगेटिव दैट टाइम टी पी स्टार्टेड टू फॉल सो दिस इज वॉट दिस इज योर लॉ ऑफ वेरिएबल प्रपोर्सन सो हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन सो लॉ ऑफ वेरिएबल प्रपोर्सन इज ऑलवेज रिलेटेड टू शॉर्ट रन प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन यानी Q is the function of L K and K is going to be uh, sorry K is going to be constant. K is going to be constant. Okay, so how we are going to explain? So law of variable proportion. We yeah, are return to a factor. Explain that when variable factor is combined with the fixed factor initially mp increases that time tp increases at a diminishing rate after that mp started to fall that time tp increases at a diminishing rate okay and ultimately mp become negative and tp started to fall so this is known as a law of variable proportion in very simple language initially we find increasing return then we find diminishing return and then we find negative return so law of variable proportion are return to a factor is all about all these three okay now so here is given this diagram you can see this is a stage 1 this is stage 2 this is stage 3 so till here yani till e point and k point mp increase increases now second point is started when mp started to fall till the s point and here mp tp become maximum after s point mp become negative and tp started to decrease so when mp is increasing this is increasing return when mp is decreasing this is diminishing return and when mp become negative so this is your negative return now stage 1 a stage of increasing return to a factor tp increases at a increasing rate in the initial phase as more and more unit of variable factors are employed with the fixed factor total production increases at a increasing rate and mp increases so this is known as a stage what first what is the reason so under utilization of fixed factor yani ki when we employed more and more variable factor we get increasing return next is indivisibility of factor okay like uh, if suppose one x is able to produce uh, sorry if uh, suppose if suppose one machine is equal to produce 10 x okay and uh, <coughs> Uh, there are ten machinery in a farm. So in this way, its production capacity of hundred x. Now demand become one hundred five. So it cannot purchase half machinery. He this farm have to purchase one machinery. In this way, its production capacity is going to increase and it become one hundred ten. So that is why when demand increases, it implied more uh, variable factor. So it is going to get uh, increasing return. so that is given here next is increased to efficiency of variable factor so when we are going to uh, use more and more labor so there is a proper utilization of labor and we can do the division of labor because of division of labor we are able to get the benefit of specialization and because of that we get increasing return okay now next is stage 2 stage 2 means what stage 2 means ki when mp started to decrease when mp started to decrease it's mean ki tp increases at diminishing rate so this is what this is your dip, uh, decreasing or diminishing rate so it will start from here and when it will over when mp become equal to 0 and tp becomes maximum so this is the end point and this is your starting point okay so what is written tp increases at a decreasing rate as more and more unit of variable factor are employed with the fixed factor then tp increases at a diminishing rate mp decreases but it is positive at the end of this phase tp is maximum and mp become zero so in this way this phase is going to be over now what is the reason for diminishing return optimal use of fixed assets after the ideal ratio when we are going to increase the variable factor to so we get poor coordination and because of this that we get diminishing 
return. Next is given imperfect factor substitutability. No doubt machinery cannot replace labor and labor cannot replace machinery. So it can never be pure substitute. So that is one more reason for the getting diminishing return. And one thing I want to tell you that ki diminishing return we also get because of the depreciation. In the first stage all the machinery are new. So there are less maintenance charges but when we are going to make the use of machinery uh, there will be more maintenance charges on the replacement and repairment. So in this way uh, their diminishing re return will start. Okay. Now last stage is stage third that is known as a negative return. So when we get the negative return when MP becomes negative and TP started to what decrease. So this is your third stage. So TP falls as more and more unit of variable factor are employed with the fixed factor total product is started to decreasing and marginal product become negative region poor coordination between fixed factor and variable factor we know now we are just increasing what we are just increasing variable factor and fixed factor is going to be constant so there will be overcrowdedness so because of that there will be poor coordination there will be worse condition, there will be dismanagement uh, and because of that there is negative re re return. Now over utilization of the fixed factor. So there is only, only uh, there is no change in the machinery. We are just increasing the variable factor. So there is over utilization. So because of that also we get the negative return. One thing I want to clear, any firm never enter in the third phase okay any firm operate in which stage so any firm operate in the second stage when tp is maximum and mp become zero okay student so thank you in this way this chapter has over if you are having any doubt discuss in the classroom come regularly ask your doubt okay thank you for today